Oh, hello. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. <laughs> Sorry. Thanks for tuning in to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to do my updated, updated everyday makeup look. <laughs> this is what I do on the day, today, basis. It's um, two colors, literally two colors in my eyes, two colors in my lips, two colors, okay? And, um, like I said a hundred times probably because I never shut the fuck up. Um, it really does take me like 10 minutes to do this if I'm not talking. Um, if I'm just getting ready. Um, this look is a no eyeliner look. So if you're like an eyeliner person where you feel like you need it, definitely put eyeliner on before I start my mascara. Okay? I don't like shout that out until I'm halfway done with my mascara. So I'm, this is your forewarning. Don't fuck it up. All right, anyways, let's get started. Okay, I just spent like so long trying to find my remote for my lights back here. Mm, can't find them. Happy Saturday. I'm gonna pop some champagne and do my makeup. I really don't have a reason to film today. I don't really have an idea of what to do. So I thought I just, I mean, I haven't done a everyday makeup tutorial in like a year. And you know, so there may be some things that are the same, so things that are different, but cheers. Hmm. Hopefully this doesn't explode everywhere. Oh, gorgeous. Cheers. So First things first, let's get our eyebrows out of the way. I'm gonna do, I've been using the Benefit. I think I used it in the color number three. Oh, I'm gonna take this nerdy ass so I can watch her off. There we go. So how's everybody doing? What is good? My eyebrows need done so bad, so we're just gonna make them look the best that we possibly can. Oh, and for the record, I've already moisturized just had to open my new really rich moisture. Um, I've been going back and forth between this and a few other things. And um, honestly, my skin has been pretty good lately. <laughs> All right, so eyebrows are done. So, um, sometimes I use my Jaclyn Hill. Sometimes I use my Naked Heat. Um, this one would give a little bit more of a dramatic look. The colors are a little bit deeper. Okay, so you're going to want to take a long brush, long loose, go ahead and go into, I'm, this is like a two color look, so super easy. So go into that rusty color, and then you're just going to set that in the center and the crease, and you want to bring that all the way in though. It's going to kind of make you look like sick almost for a second, like literally sick. I'm gonna take a small condensed brush. And a sip of champagne. And you're gonna take that exact same color. I don't know why I'm showing you again. Same color, the dark one. And you're gonna go underneath. A little drop shadow. And for those of you that have seen my videos before, I normally do too drop shadows, like a dark and then a light, kind of just to blend and make it look a little bit softer, but for this look, I don't. I just, I don't. Okay, oh my god, I'm just throwing shit. <laughs> Already, two sips in. So, now you're gonna wanna take like a more condensed flat brush, um, just a little bit fluffier than like the one I just went underneath with. And we'll take the light color here that I always use. Honestly, I don't really know what the difference is between these two. Um, so I've been using this one too. But anyways, you're going to put a little bit on. And then you're going to want to take that and put that honestly right. And you're just going to want to set this one. You're not going to brush it. 
And you're just gonna set it right on your eyeliner, like your eyelash line. Just right in the inside corner almost. Probably from about halfway in. That's where you wanna set it, just on the lash line. And then you're gonna wanna get a little bit more color. Put that on the inside corner. And then again up here, just a little bit. Okay, same on the other side. Okay, so now it kind of looks very contrasted. I want to blend that. So you're going to want to pick up a loose brush, a nice blending brush, whatever your favorite one is. I like this one because it's nice and poofy. It's by Moda BMX 430. Sick, brother. And you want to kind of blend this up here. I don't want that to be such a harsh line. Do not mind. And then you're gonna kind of want to blend just a little bit. You want to keep that kind of dominant, that white, that lighter color. And then the same on the other side. Okay. Literally, that's it. That's all I do. I'm gonna take a nice break. I should probably put my hair up so you guys can see everything a little better. Oh, and when I drink, I get like blotchy, so sick. Okay, so back at it. Like I said, I've already moisturized, so make sure that you have good base before you start applying anything else. So, yes, I still use the exact same. This is my makeup, but I can't I can't find anything that compares. Um, although I'll still try other stuff. Um, this one just makes me look the most glowy, healthy. Um, I did drop down a couple shades because I'm pale AF, um, and it's NW30 now. I used to do 33, but anyways, I used that in my Tarte Kabuki. Same vibes. Let's do it. And then when you have, like, massive fucking pimples, just take a little bit on your finger, just press it on. And then dab it around. Goodbye. So I'm gonna take this Maybelline New York in shade. Oh my god, I cannot read. I literally cannot. Let's see here. <laughs> oh, it's just fair. Claire. Ten. And then we gotta put that. A little bit will sometimes go a long way, so you don't want to overdo it, so. Don't overdo it, you extra hose. <laughs> and then you're done. This is how I go about my day. Just kidding. The OG Blending B brush. Okay, so. I really didn't know what to film today. I just knew that the Vikings are in the playoffs and I really want to watch the game and I really kind of want to drink a little bit of champagne. <sighs> so I decided I'll film a YouTube video just getting ready and I'll do like mine updated every day. But I also like, I was like considering doing something else. I couldn't think of anything else. Like what do you guys want to see? Please let a bitch know. I need to know. I don't even know what to do. Like, contemplate it forever. Like, I don't know what you guys want to do. I do the same shit every single fucking day. So what do you guys need makeup for? <sighs> Let me know. Okay. So now, once the highlighter's done, I'm going to take my angle brush. And what do I want to use today? I'm going to use this Smashbox. This is literally last year's holiday palette. Um, it's like highlight low light. I freaking love it still. I obviously only use one. Okay, so get some uh, product on your brush. Angle that bitch right in. Get them cheeks bones are popping. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, look at the difference here. I 
And you're gonna blend, so don't be shy, okay? I mean, you can be fast too, so sometimes I barely put any on when I'm in a hurry. But why am I not taking more breaks? But I am not in a hurry, so. Cheekbones. Then you wanna go around the perimeter. For all you stupid idiots that don't know that. Just kidding. It's not really common knowledge. You even know I was a hairstylist before I got into the makeup game as well. I didn't even know how to contour my face. Like, people came to me for beauty. And I was wearing one color foundation everywhere. You know? You live and you learn. <laughs> now, if I like go anywhere or do anything, I still contour. I like will contour and not put mascara on. I think it's like the most important part. Really, really makes your features accentuated. Right now I'm just um, making my collarbones pop out maybe a little bit if I can. I feel like I've been gaining, no, I really have not been getting weight. I threw in my scale though, so who really knows, but it didn't work out for a couple weeks because the holidays, like you're just gonna forget. And I hate like shit. <clears throat> and so, I feel like I got flabby, but I didn't. And then I put on clothes and like, I am the same, or if not, better. You know, all your hard work of working out doesn't just escape you the day you like indulge in some good food and don't work out. <laughs> I'm just really hard on myself sometimes, as everybody is, I'm sure. God, look, I'm just blotchy because of the champagne. <laughs> so, I'll drink more. Anyways. My New Year's resolution, if you're curious, I know you guys are so curious about everything about me. Just kidding. Nobody fucking cares. But, um, is to stop eating so much meat. Zach and I decided that we want to go plant-based, like, 85% of the time. Like, I'm never going to be able to fully give up a good filet or, like, you know, cheese. I wouldn't be able to give that up fully, especially the cheese part. But like a majority of the time, I feel like I eat that way anyways. Like I eat a lot of vegetarian meals and I don't know, I've just, we've, I've read so much about it and it's so good for you. Like, you know, the whole meat, chicken, everything is kind of like a myth doesn't actually make you healthier, or stronger, or bigger, or anything at all. Anyway, so I've been like indulging in this new lifestyle. My husband is for once on board, and so I am riding it out with him. We'll see how this goes. It's been only a few days, but I feel good. I feel like my skin looks good. I feel energized. I feel like my food has been delicious. Um, and like, I mean, who doesn't hate animal cruelty, but... I still, I still am gonna eat meat, so I don't judge you if you do. I'm just saying, we're trying. We're trying something new. It was my New Year's resolution. So, um, before I put mascara on now, I'm like almost done with my whole face already. And really, I would've been done about 10 minutes ago, but you girl can't shut up. <laughs> so I'm going to set my under eyes and in between my eyebrows where I get like wrinkly. And I'm gonna use my Becca Hydrating what the heck is it called again? Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. The best. Um, if you are, have some wrinkles going on, you know, and even if it's just a little bit, this makes a huge difference. Like you feel like your makeup just is so much better. And I don't put it everywhere on my face. I just put it where I put the concealer pretty much. So like you can see right now, focus please. Like, do you see how, like, there we go, how, like, wrinkly I look through here and through here? I mean, this is, like, <laughs> who'd want to show this? Okay, so then I'm going to apply this and I'm going to show you the difference. 
And I mean, if you have like pretty oily skin, you can definitely use setting powder everywhere. I just don't. I have actually incredibly dry skin. So if I were to put this everywhere, um, I just I just feel like a, I'm a little bit powdery looking. I don't know. I just, I like to be more dewy versus matte, I guess. Maybe a little bit mixture of both, but I don't like to be like, like it looks like you could freaking dust me. I don't like that look. So anyways, now look. Focus. See how like, especially like right in between here, just like looks so much better. Like it's still not perfect and you know, I still feel like I need fillers and Botox and all of the above, but this is what I can help you do with makeup. <laughs> not with needles all right so uh, mascara okay so um, I'm gonna do my mascara now um, and this would be what I would normally use the unique focus you little asshole bitch there we go unique mood struck epic mascara I literally love this mascara, I don't care if it's whatever people, like, I love it. Um, however, it's getting a little bit dry. Shout out to Haley, I need a new one. Be my third one. Um, but I did order this one last time I ordered, the Unique Moodstruck Epic 40. And um, they're both really good. I do prefer the 3D, but it, like I said, it's dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this one today. If I had it my way, I would be using this one to do this tutorial. But your girl is out. Dry. Dry. Very dry. Just like my champagne. Like a brute. Just kidding. It's a Prosecco. Alright, so I'm just going to go and show you guys. This is only one layer. Probably going to do two. But like... This one is still really good. I like it. <laughs> oh, and um, I forgot to mention this earlier. If you wear eyeliner and feel more comfortable with eyeliner, I, I don't, unless I'm doing like a, something more than I'm doing right now, like every day, you should probably put that on before you do mascara. <laughs> I should have said that earlier. I'm really sorry. So you might have to start over. Put your eyeliner on. Or don't, just get a really good mascara. Okay, so here's two coats. So good, right? So good. All right, so mascara's done. And so now, um, I've been doing this. Um, let me see, where is, do I have the other one down here? I really hope that I do. Oh, I do. Okay, so either one of these I really, really like. They're the Kylie, um, the Kylie lip liners. And um, the Dolce K has been my OG for like a long time. I like love it. You can put it with a bunch of different like mauves, plums, um, rusts, and it really like comes through. Or just a clear gloss, that's my favorite look. With, like a darker liner with a clear gloss, which is kind of what I'm gonna do today. Jesus Christ, take a breath, would you? But anyways, <clears throat> for Christmas, I got my girlfriend's Kylie's favorite lip duo, and it was the coconut lip liner. And the yes, girl, um, Jesus Christ, oh, high gloss. Yes, girl, high, high gloss, which I thought I was gonna hate because it's very like gold toned, but it does not show up that way, and I love it. Anyways, I had to get myself one. <laughs> so, it's been my go-to. Literally, it's so good. So, you're gonna overline your lips just a little bit. You don't wanna be crazy, but I always overline a little bit. Sorry, boys, if you're watching. It's been a false advertisement. <laughs> I don't have that big of lips. So then when you overline, you're really everything except for right here. You don't wanna you don't wanna pull it out. It'll look dumb. So 
so don't do that. Then once you're lined, you're just gonna apply a gloss, some sort of gloss, if you have this one. This is the one I recommend. And you put that right in the center. How good is that? So this has been my everyday look for, I don't know, six months to the last time I've done this. Um, I feel like I'd better with my hair up. I guess it's gonna stay up. By the way, I'm really late to the game for these bad boys. I have a bunch of brown ones that I wear like all the time. And then I have like a cute, few cute like sparkly ones like this. But holy shit, if you're not using them, you are behind the times like I was. They are amazing. Like I can wear like a high pony that like pops up. So cute. So like, and it does not fall. It just stays gorgeously fountaining on upon my head. <sighs> Um, but get yourself some because they are amazing. They're literally so good. So, um, this is my everyday. If I wanted, if I was feeling, but I don't, so that's why I'm not. But if I wanted to spruce this look up a little bit, I would apply eyeliner and I would do a little bit of highlighter on my cheeks and the tip of my nose. But I don't, I don't do that every day, so that would be against. That would be defeating the purpose of this entire video. So, I will not be doing that. But some of these girls out here, I just want to tell you to chill on the highlighter. You look sweaty, okay? You don't want to look sweaty. You want to look dewy. Just want a tiny bit, tiny bit, that's it, okay? So to like the makeup YouTube gurus, and like some of these bitches that I see on Insta, I'm like, girl, I told you guys I get blotchy. I'm trying, 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 trying. I'm gonna go put on a turtleneck. <laughs> Hello, man, a room. Hello, champagne. <laughs> oh my god. Can I tell you guys a story about this? <clears throat> see this beautiful bracelet? Come on, focus, you piece of shit out, dick. See this gorgy, gorgy, gor gorge brace? Okay. Zach got it for me. And it fell off when I was Christmas shopping, like at the biggest mall in Denver. And then I went to the grocery store, I went to Costco, I went to the post office, I went to so many places. And I got home and it was off. And I cried. And I called all the places that I was. Nobody could find it. And I went back and retraced my steps in parking lots. And I went to Costco, which is my motherfucking dude. Costco. It's good. <laughs> I want to be working for you. Love you. Anyways, I called. Or no, I did not call. I did not call Costco. I called up like all the stores at the mall. I did not call Costco. And so I like went in frantically, like dramatic, and of course, and I was like, has anyone seen my bracelet? <sighs> and they were like, oh yeah, somebody actually turned one in. I have my bracelet? Yeah, somebody turned one in. <laughs> what? And I hugged the guy. I gave him the biggest hug. Thank you so much. He was like, there are still good people out there, aren't there? There really is. This goes to show. And so then, you know how they say that you don't like feel the Christmas spirit anymore because you're old and fucking spending money that you don't really want to spend on people that you don't, you know, don't deserve it. Well, I felt that Christmas spirit. I did. I really did. <sighs> it was a good day. It was a really good day. It was a bad day. Turning good and made me feel good. So, anyways, it's not Christmas time anymore. But I just want to tell you guys that story. It's a good one. 
I'm just gonna finish this and do my clothes. This is my final look. This is what I do almost every single day. And um, I'll tell you what, I do get compliments on my makeup quite a bit. And I, if I were to sit here and do this like in a flash, like I normally do, this takes me like 10, 10 minutes. I'm, I would say 10 to 15, but really 10 minutes. So get your makeup game up. No, I'm just kidding. Watch my videos and learn. Alright. Thanks for watching, everyone. Holla at your girl. Until next time.